Here are my five tips for complaining about discrimination or harassment at workplace. Tip number one, make sure that your complaint is in writing. Don't just verbally complain about harassment to your employer. You would be surprised how often the employers say that they never had a conversation with an employee and that the employee never complained about anything. Once you have a complaint in writing with proof of transmission by fax or by email, it's going to be impossible for the employer to say that they never knew about what was going on and they didn't know about your complaint. Tip number two, be specific in your complaint. Don't just use generic adjectives such as hostile, abusive, inappropriate, threatening. Instead, describe specifically, quote people's words and describe specific actions that you consider to be harassing or discriminatory. This way, the person who reads your complaint will know exactly what is going on. Tip number three. Remember what the purpose of your complaint is. The purpose of your complaint is to describe what's going on and to describe your problem and also to ask for help. The purpose of your complaint is not to tell your employer how evil they are, how they're out to just get you, or how they're trying to set you up to get rid of you. Even if that's the case, saying that in your complaint is not going to help you and it's not going to encourage your employer to help you resolve your harassment and discrimination issues. You always want to be the good guy, especially when it comes to writing. Tip number four, send your complaint to more than just one person. Don't just send your complaint to your HR manager or to your supervisor. Send it to both your supervisor, your HR manager, and to your supervisor's manager, to your second level manager, if there is one. The more people in charge know about what's going on, and the more of them decide not to do anything about it, the more egregious their conduct will be considered in court or at arbitration or anywhere else and the more compelling of a discrimination or harassment case you will have once you can show that a larger group of managers high-level managers knew about what was going on but didn't do anything about it and my last tip is this be concise there is no reason for your complaint to be longer than one page I have seen some long complaints over 10 pages long and the person who was supposed to read them was simply too busy to attend to the whole document so they would put the document at the bottom of their stack of other documents that they're supposed to look and it will take them too long to get to it your complaint should be very short it should just be a few paragraphs my name is such and such this is my position this is what's going on please help me thank you and I hope these tips help you file your discrimination or harassment complaint properly and more effectively.